Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 2.3. This is second question. Chapter is whole number of class 6. The question is, if the product of two whole number is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through example. So they have given two statements here and they are asking us to justify it. Justify means we have to take example and we have to show that yes it is true or it is false according to the statement given there. So what is the statement given? If product of two whole number is 0 means when you multiplying a two whole numbers and your answer is 0 then we say that one or both of the number are 0 and we have to give an example that so let us take the first statement here that is if uh, product of two whole number is 0 and one number is uh, out of two numbers one number is 0 so let me type it down if the product of so if the product of two whole number is zero and if one of the number is zero there okay if, uh, if the product is zero and one number we are taking it as zero then we can say definitely one of the number will be zero I am going to give you example for that so definitely one of the number one of them will be zero them is zero now why definitely I said because let us take an example you just multiply any number with zero okay they have given we are taking one number to be zero there let us take five so we know that here is example okay suppose five into zero will take so five into zero is zero right now you take any other number let us take 110 so 110 multiplied by zero is again zero so whenever you take one number to be zero that is what we have said here if the product of two whole number is zero definitely one of them will be zero here so here five into zero have taken one number zero here also have taken one number zero like that if you take a four digit five digit number six digit number any number you take and when you multiplying with the zero your answer is always a zero so this statement holds here now the next one here they have given is if both the numbers are zero so let me copy this statement and modify it okay so here we go so the second statement they have said that if the product of two whole number is zero then what is what about the second number so both of them may be zero so let me just change it So if the product of two whole number is zero, so there could be first case we have taken that one number is zero. In second case we can say that both of them may be zero. Okay, the chances that both numbers can be zero. We cannot definitely say that both number is zero because if one of the number is zero, then also product is zero. If both numbers are zero, then all, then in that case also product is zero. So that is why I have written here maybe because the chances can be that both numbers can be zero, right? So here, let me give, give an example of zero. So zero multiplied by zero is equal to zero. Yeah, this is an example here. So in first case we have taken that if one number is zero then also your answer will be zero when you're multiplying if both numbers are zero then also you get the answer zero so the, the here we have justified both the statements now that's it this is very simple question you have to just give an example and just explain it now in case you have further question from this exercise or this chapter or any other exercise any other question from the any other class you can just drop a comment and i'll try to make a uh, video on it thank you so much for watching